recent discovery suggests we've got a swarm of black holes right in our cosmic backyard. Now, before anyone starts panicking for an interstellar movie, let's dive into the science, because this is one epic cosmic tale. Black holes, as many of you probably know, are regions in space where gravity is extremely strong, and nothing we know can escape it. Their borders, called the event horizon, are the ultimate point of no return. Scientists have long suspected black holes might lurk closer to Earth than we previously thought. Now, astronomers have found that one of the most famous star clusters, the Hyades, is home to the closest black holes to Earth. That's right. The recent study has hinted that the Hyades star cluster, which lies a mere 153 light years away, might just be concealing some black hole secrets. The study comes from a collaboration between a group of scientists led by Stefano Torniamenti from the University of Padua, Italy. Armed with data from the superhero of space telescopes, the ESA's Gaia satellite, our astrophysicists meticulously compared their simulated Hyades world with the real deal, achieving a stunning match that brought the true story of this star cluster to life. Here's where it gets really exciting. The story woven from these simulations suggests a thrilling possibility. The presence of not one, but potentially up to three black holes hiding in the Hyades playing hide-and-seek within or near this starry neighborhood. Using intricate data analysis and observations, researchers found peculiar movements within the Hyades cluster. Some stars seemed to be swaying and moving in ways that hinted at a hidden, massive presence. And no, it wasn't a cosmic dance party. These movements are a telltale sign that there's something with significant gravity pulling on them. Okay, so what makes us think these are black holes? By observing the speeds and patterns of stars in the cluster, scientists noticed anomalies that couldn't be accounted for by regular star mass. But with the gravity of a black hole, it all started making sense. These mysterious entities with their powerful gravitational pull had been orchestrating the motion of stars for possibly the last 37 million years leaving indelible marks in the stellar dance that our researchers could spot. And hold on to your seats because this revelation pushes the famed black hole, Gaia BH1, farther down the line as the closest black hole to us. These Hyades black holes might just be the new record holders, sitting much closer to our sun and, by extension, to us. Black holes in our neighborhood aren't just a curiosity. They're a key to understanding the evolution of star clusters and the life cycle of stars. So what's the big deal about having black holes so close? Well, proximity means that scientists can study these enigmatic entities in much more detail. The closer they are, the more we can learn, the better our tools of observation work. And while 153 light years might sound like an enormous distance, in the grand, almost unimaginable scale of the cosmos, where distances are measured in billions of light years, our neighboring Hyades cluster sits almost at our cosmic doorstep. Our very own Milky Way galaxy stretches over a hundred thousand light years across. In this context, the Hyades cluster is practically a next door neighbor in our galactic neighborhood. Picture a vast city, where traveling from one end to the other takes hours. Now imagine the Hyades cluster being just a brisk walk away at a comfortable, familiar corner of your local neighborhood. Let's take the closest galaxy to ours, the Andromeda Galaxy, which is situated a whopping 2.537 million light years away from us. Now comparing this with the distance to the Hyades cluster, it almost feels like the Hyades is within an arm's reach, doesn't it? It's like standing on a beach where Andromeda is a distant ship on the horizon, barely visible, while the Hyades cluster is a playful dolphin leaping joyfully just a few meters offshore, ready to share its secrets with us. These nearby black holes challenge many assumptions. For instance, how common are black holes in star clusters, and might there be even closer black holes we've yet to discover? Now, before you start peeking through your telescope hoping to see a black hole, remember, they're black. And space is, well, black. 
so spotting them directly is tricky. One of the primary methods to hunt for black holes is through observing their gravitational effects on nearby stars and gas. When a black hole is nearby, it can affect the movements of stars in its vicinity, causing them to wobble, move faster, or even get flung out of their regular paths. We can also spot them by observing X-rays and radiation. Black holes often pull in or accrete material from nearby stars, forming an accretion disk around themselves. This process releases a lot of energy, especially X-rays. Therefore, astronomers often hunt for black holes by looking for unusual X-ray sources in the sky. Since black holes are the most massive objects in the universe, we can also use gravitational waves to hunt for them. Ever since the first detection of gravitational waves in 2015, this has become a groundbreaking method to find black holes. When massive objects like black holes collide, they can create ripples in space-time, called gravitational waves, which can be detected by facilities such as LIGO and Virgo here on Earth. Another intriguing method is gravitational microlensing. This occurs when a black hole passes in front of a distant star from our point of view. The black hole's gravity acts as a lens, magnifying and distorting the light from the star behind it, creating a signature light curve that astronomers can detect. Scientists also rely heavily on simulations and theoretical predictions. They create complex models of star clusters to predict where black holes might be hiding. Using computers to simulate millions of years of star evolution in just a few weeks or months. Each method is like a clue, a piece of the puzzle, guiding researchers as they map the mysterious territories of our universe in a relentless quest to find these elusive cosmic beasts. Nevertheless, it's worth noting that more observations are needed to confirm the existence of these new black holes. As of now, the closest confirmed black hole is Gaia BH1, located a relatively short cosmic hop away in our Milky Way galaxy. Gaia BH1 is about 1,120 light years from Earth. It was discovered thanks to the vigilant eyes of the Gaia Space Telescope, which has been mapping billions of astronomical objects with unprecedented precision. An interesting fact is that Gaia BH1 was initially spotted as a bright star that later disappeared, sparking curiosity and detailed investigation. This disappearing act led scientists to believe that a massive star collapsed into a black hole without going supernova, a rare phenomenon indeed. Generally, massive stars end their lives in a colossal explosion called a supernova, leaving behind a neutron star or a black hole. So, the next time you gaze up at the night sky, ponder this. Somewhere out there, amidst the shimmering tapestry of stars, might be a cosmic giant silently spinning, waiting to be discovered. And who knows? Tomorrow's headlines might just reveal another cosmic secret that's even closer than we thought. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.